Hey, hey, this is Julian and you are on Ethervlogs and in this video I'm going to explain the difference between Ether transfer and ERC20 token transfer. So I'm going to explain the difference from the point of view of a user and also from the point of view of the Ethereum blockchain, so from a technical perspective. So let's start with the transfer of an Ether. So I'm a user and I want to transfer, let's say, one Ether to a friend. So I open up my wallet and I choose the recipient address. I choose the amount that I want to transfer. I press send and it's going to build a transaction with all the detail of the Ether transfer. So I will have to pay some uh, gas costs for this transaction. By the way, if you don't know what is gas, I have a whole series on gas on my channel, so check it out. So I will have to cover these gas costs, and so for that, I'm gonna pay just a little bit of, uh, of Ether. And then my transaction is going to be sent to the Ethereum network. And inside, it's going to be run by a component of the Ethereum blockchain that is called the EVM, so that means the Ethereum Virtual Machine. So the Ethereum Virtual Machine knows how to run some elementary operation called opcodes. So for example, in smart contract, you can do stuff like addition, subtraction, etc. So all of these are opcodes that can be executed on this EVM. And one of these opcodes is for transferring Ether. So the EVM is going to see what's inside the transaction and it's going to see that there is an opcode to transfer some Ether. So it's going to, to see that and actually do the transfer. So, uh, so yeah, so that's how it works for uh, an Ether transfer. So next, what about an ERC20 token transfer? So let's say that I want to transfer 1000 DAI token to someone else. So once again, I open up my, my wallet. Uh, most wallets know how to handle both Ether transfer and ES20 token transfer. So I choose how many token I want to transfer. I choose the, the recipient. So this is exactly the same as for Ether, but there is one difference because this time I have to specify which ERC20 token I want to transfer because on the Ethereum blockchain, you can have as many ERC20 token that you want. Whereas for Ether, you don't have to specify which Ether you want to transfer. There is just one Ether. It's native to the Ethereum blockchain. So I specify all the input of my transaction. I press send. So it's going to build a transaction with all the detail of my ERC20 token transfer, like for Ether. Uh, like for Ether also, I will have to cover the gas cost of the transaction. So in general, uh, for ERC20 token transfer, you need to pay more gas because uh, it's, uh, you need to, to do some, uh, some extra computation compared to an Ether transfer, but it's not much. So you send this transaction to the Ethereum blockchain, and once again, it's going to be run uh, inside the EVM, the Ethereum virtual machine. However, the big, big difference is that the EVM doesn't have any opcode to do an ERC20 token transfer. So what's happening? Well, what's happening is that when you do an ERC20 token transfer, you actually call a function on the smart contract of the ERC20 token. So there is a function that is called transfer and it accepts a couple of arguments. So one of them is the amount that you want to transfer and the other one is the recipient address. So this function is going to check a few things like do you have enough ERC20 token to transfer this many to this recipient? And if all the check, uh, check, uh, checks out, then it's going to carry out the transfer. And so this function to carry out the transfer, it's actually very simple. It's only going to update a variable. So internally, it has a ledger that says which address owns how many token. So it's going to decrease the amount of token that you're sending for your account, and it's going to increase uh, the, um, the token uh, amount for, for the recipient. So it's basically, internally, it's only updating a, a variable. So for, from the point of view of the EVM, uh, the opcode that is used to transfer this ERC20 token is an opcode to change the value of a variable. So 
the EVM doesn't have any concept of ERC20 token. It's just us human who decide to give a meaning inside a variable of a smart contract. So technically, these two things are very, very different. So that's really important to uh, understand the difference. That's pretty much it on the difference between Ether transfer and ES20 token transfer. If you have any question, you can ask them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon for another video on Ethereum and blockchain programming. Bye bye.